Hey you guys, today I'm going to review Scared Famous. I finally watched it today um, and I enjoyed it. At first, when I first started watching it, I'm not going to lie, I was like, I can't, I just can't. It just kept getting louder and louder as the guest was coming in and I was like, I can't. But as I kept watching the show, because I was like, oh my God, this is not going to work well, so I'm going to watch it. But I actually enjoyed the show. Wouldn't be for me. Uh-uh. I don't do haunted houses. I don't do knock scary form. I don't do fright nights. None of that. I don't do none of that because I know me. I might swing at somebody coming at me. So I don't play that kind of stuff. And then my grandmother always told me, it's not the dead you got to worry about. It's the living. So, yeah. Um, But they're in Savannah, Georgia. And it's 10 um cast uh members and they're from different reality shows they're going to move into this one house they're going to get knocked off um every week and it's going to be that let me go through the cast it's young jock from loving hip-hop atlanta and also a rapper um i don't want people to just know him as young jock from loving hip-hop but don benjamin oh so easy on the eyes but i can't too scary for me but um top model I think he was in Top Model 21 or something like that. 2021. I, I watched it. Anyway, uh, New York from Flavor of Love. I love New York. New York goes to work in Hollywood. I don't know the name of it. Um, I kind of fell off then. Um, the next 15, you know, the, H, the original HBIC. If she wants to be taken as Tiffany, she needs to stop coming as the intro as the original HBIC. And just say, hey, I'm Tiffany, formerly known as the girl New York. You know what I'm saying? Because other than that and the way she act, I'm going to always say that's New York. Um, Nikki Baby from Loving Hip Hop Hollywood. Eva from Top Model. I think she won Top Model 2, Season 2. I've been watching it since Season 1. Um, who else? Sky from Black Ink Crew, New York. Safari from Loving Hip Hop Hollywood, Drita from Mob Wives, um, New York, Alaska from Drag Queen, uh, RuPaul Drag Queen Race. I, I liked Alaska on there. She was just like different, quirky, so I liked her. Um, Erica Mena from Loving Hip Hop, Bad Girls Club, wherever you want to watch her at social media. Um, I like Erica Mena too. That's why when I, they were introducing this cast, I was like, this not might not work. Like, everybody is loud, especially the women. The women are loud and attention seekers, like type of women. So, it's like, how is this going to work when all these women want to be bad bitches, want to be the top bitches? But then the show also showed you that everybody that's big and bad with a loud mouth can be scary sometimes and I was here for it I was laughing we had Redman as the host if you don't know who Redman is you sleep you need to be woke um but he's a rapper from Wu-Tang Clan Met the Man uh my favorite movie How High <laughs> so yeah I wasn't feeling his look though mm, a little weird okay I don't know who your stylist is but I'm such a fan of Redman so yeah I don't want to go step by step of what's going to happen, but that's who were in the cast. They have to do they do a challenge. The first challenge is um, to dig up money. That was like $50,000 in money. They couldn't use they, a shovel. They had to find the other way to get this money from digged out their hands or whatever. But then it was bugs and rats and all that. And I'm telling y'all, I would have... Time to go home. I'm just saying, like, maybe it's the city girl in me, the Cali girl in me, but wouldn't been able to do it. I'm just saying, like, I was like, hey, I know y'all fighting for y'all cause and y'all charity because they're not going to win no money. It's going to go to charity. So which I thought that was a great idea. You get exposure, you get your money to charity. So I thought that was cool. The dudes were so funny on this episode because they were so scary i think the dudes were more scary than the girls was but they was trying not to show it but they did show it kind of you know what i'm saying um drita was scared but you, you couldn't tell you they thought she was a threat because she didn't show that she was scared 
Um, who else? Uh, Erica Mena would did a good job on the challenge. Drita Safari, <laughs> he made it out with a bag. So hey, Safari is humor wherever he go. He makes me laugh wherever he go. Because when Nikki Baby came in the house, he was like, you didn't tell me you was coming. She was like, you didn't tell me you were doing it. But he was trying to sleep with her, like have a room with her. She was like, nope, not going to happen, boo-boo. We had our time. It's past. It's gone. That was our storyline. Don't want to know my old got to go. Let's remain friends. But, yeah, so, but when they did, did do the rooms or whatever, and I seen... That was so funny because New York curved the mess out of Young Jock. He thought he was about to be in there with two women and was like, yeah, they put two beds in here. I mean, three beds for two girls and one guy. They were like, okay, we want Safari. Bring him in here. Oops. I said, oh, did, I know his manhood, ego, all that went like, bitch, no, you, no, you, yes, yes. They want to look at all of that of Safari and not all of that of Young Jock that you, you confuses people sometimes. I don't know. Um, and you, you got a really bad reputation with women, Young Jock. So that, that can be a thing too. But then Tiffany wants to sleep with anybody. So maybe Safari going to be first and then maybe jock i don't see don benjamin messing with not nan girl in the house i just don't see it um no nope, i just don't see it and i think he have a girlfriend but i just don't see him messing teaming up with nobody in the house i did was wondering how was it gonna go as far as teamed up and nikki baby and drita i could see that i even when i was trying to pick picture who would get along? I said Nikki Baby and Drita would go in the same room because Drita not really, Drita be loud when she has to be. Not all the time extra. And I think I was agreeing with her when she said people is not understanding why they really here. They all up with this playing and games and finding daddy but not really focusing on what's going to happen and why they here. Um... I talked about Eric Man and all that kind of stuff. And then Eva and Don being in the same room, I got what Eva was coming from when she was like, I picked Don because we both have been on a competitive show, so we kind of know. But I was like, girl, he's so scary. You, mm -mm, you're a little bit more hood and rough around the edges than Don is, so you're going to have to pump your little home way up because he's scary as I don't know what. But yeah, like I said, they did that challenge. They won the challenge because they did dig all the money out. Then the rest of the show, they were kind of getting spooked through the house. They found the history of the house, which was, I think something happened with some yellow fever. And um, it was like an outbreak. And the people that owned the house started reselling the property. I mean, releasing the property to make money. And it was a hospital before. It was a mental place. It was a kid's orphan. It was just all kind of stuff. They had these twins. And somehow the twins disappeared. They was without a trace. They came back where well, their spirits came back and they start haunting the place. Then something happened with Drita. Drita was like, mm mm. So her new her in New York was like, uh, we're not gonna even mess with this. We're gonna close this book and that's it. New York kinda scares me. New York is growing into Sister Patterson. When she came in that house and said, Oh, I feel spirits, they in a Kona and they gonna come up. I said, Bitch, you are turning into your mama. Oh, okay. She gonna be crazy. Mm, I don't know if I'm ready for New York to turn into her mama. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Please don't turn into your mama. But even like when she was trying to talk to Eva because they had got spooked again and they were running and something pulled Eva's hair. The producers pulled Eva's hair. I don't know. But somebody pulled Eva's hair and she tried to go to Eva was like when she said that the kids wanted to play with her hair and the way Eva was looking at her like if you don't go that way, girl, just go that way. And I'm like, she might sound crazy, but she might have a point on some of the stuff that she be saying. That's all I'm saying. You know, crazy recognize crazy, and sometimes you got to listen to crazy. Um, When Erica Mena got that scar, that cut at the beginning of the episode, I was just sitting there like, is this a mark of blood? Because it's only staying right there. It's not dripping down her leg. It's not... It was weird. I'm like, do we see a cut or do we just see a red mark? And we think that she got cut. 
some stuff I was just like, y'all acting overboard, but some stuff I was just like, bitch, I don't know. Mm -mm. When they was in our bathrooms and they was playing different sections and there was people in the mirrors, I was like, see this? I don't play with stuff like this. I just, mm, I can't. I cannot play with stuff like that. I would have been gone. You know, it's, it was funny that the dudes who was the first one to be like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Nikki Baby said that she was going to be the first one, but it was the dudes. Um, I don't think Nikki Baby going to last that long because she don't seem like she's about that life of doing the challenges. She doesn't seem like she's about that life of fun. I just don't see it. But so I think she's like the weakest link to me. Um, the threat in the house probably would probably be Erica Mena. Not Sky. Sky is almost on the on the weakest link thing because she really she was act she wanted camera time. She was acting scared. Erica Mena really wanted camera time. She was really acting scared and taking it overboard and going crazy. When when she jumped on Red Man, I'm like, I understand all y'all know each other from the same neck of the woods, but girl, mmm, that was some goofy shit. I don't know. I like Erica Mena though. But um yeah, it was something else I was going to talk about. When, I, when it caught fire outside, and, and all the dudes was like, why we got to go out there? Black people don't run to stuff. Like, the dudes was like, hey, I told y'all, they was way more scared than the girls was. And it showed, and it was so funny. Safari, stop messing up your reputation. Oh, stop. We understand you like women. You flirt with all the women. But Cougar as New York, Tiffany is not the one. Oh, my God. Now, they both was kind of playing each other. And it was funny because she was making him sleep with her to protect her. He was kind of sleeping with her so he can kind of get a little protection, too, because he was scary. But since she thought that he was going to protect her, he rolled with that. But his butt was just as scared, so it worked out a win-win situation. Until Erica Mena went in there and bust them out and said that they slept together. And everybody was like, hmm. And I said, yeah, fool. You want to keep that a secret? Oh, I want Nikki is really not letting you in that bed. It's not going to happen. But <laughs> I was like, oh, why? Don't, don't, don't. No, don't mess up your reputation trying to sleep with New York or cuddle with her or give her. No. Leave that to Jock. Let that work out. I'm just saying, not Safari. Um, what else happened? It was like I said, it was a really, really good show. They have to worry about what's gonna be next when them people disappeared at that fire thing. See, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm telling y'all, it was so much stuff that kept going on through the episode. I kept saying, See, this black girl right here would have been like, Sorry, Charity, y'all ain't gonna have it. Ain't gonna work. Let me find out another way to get y'all some money. Because this one ain't gonna work. It was too much stuff going on that I feel like if I can't see it and fight it, I ain't fucking with it. That's just, that, that's just me. Anyway, tell me what y'all thought about um, Scared Famous. And I'm gonna tr keep trying to review it. I don't know if it's gonna be up the same night. Because y'all know I be getting up really, really early in the morning. And loving hip hop be draining me. So... I'm going to try. I'm going to really, really try. I'm really still trying to catch up on shows I have to watch for this week. So, keep working with me and I'll work with y'all. Alright. Follow me on all social media sites by the Ghetto View. T-H-A, not T-H-E. And I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Peace.